You just have to go through each of these procedures and that will yeah. narrow it right down to what's wrong. Okay, now Bobby, let's. we, we want to do the history of this first. History is you had a dead battery. Yep. I had a dead battery. And okay. Then, uh, to replace the battery, that wasn't a problem. Then we replaced a regular rectifier. This guy. And that, and the bike actually ran well for a while. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, riding down the street. We went for four or five rides, and then there was another ride where you never got home. You... No, yeah, I, I literally okay. stopped at a stoplight, and then it just went. Yep. Okay. And then you know the battery shot. But then you went to a dealer. I'm just trying to make the history just so I can well, learn something. That my ground wasn't good. He actually replaced the ground wire. The ground wire. He put this guy on. Okay. And then, and then he also gave me a new regular rectifier. Okay. Well, that's not on there. But there's another bolt that goes in there. So okay. I know. I'm just. I'm. I'm so, curious because. Yep. Boy, when I had I had issues like this, I went crazy. Right. Okay. Yeah, oh. so so once that once he changed that, the bike ran fine for a while, but then it happened again. Okay. So that's when uh, I just put the bike on a trailer and brought it over to Vince's house. You know. Okay, and Vince guaranteed for life, or you get his BMW for free. <laughs> <laughs> oh so my the, God. The yeah. settings that you that you check the circuit with by uh, Honda specifications is, of course, that's ground. Yeah. But you want to check the ohm reading. So you put it at 200 ohms, because okay. that's well over the reading that you want to see. And then you can take the, the regulator rectifier wire out, right? And then you can do between the contacts going, the three up top are the three yellow phases coming directly from the three phases from, coming, okay. From the stator. Right. And then this is ground and that's hot. Okay. Right? So from here, you check the ohm reading between each of these pins. And it should fall between point, see, there it goes, and it should go below point one. And it, there it is, it's within okay. spec. Okay. And then you go across all three, and they should all read the same. Okay. Well, at least below point one. Okay. And then you move that one over to the middle. And all that's telling you is the one is shorted out. Well, it's, no. it's telling you that you got a good circuit going from here all the way to the stator. Okay. And, and it's got low resistance. A very low resistance. It's got to be between 0.1 uh, and and one. Okay. And, and we saw it. It went below it. So it's right in range. Everything was fine. Then you could switch to 12 volt, and you check your voltage. Right there's your red wire. Okay. That should go directly to your battery, and it should read your battery. And there it is. Okay. And you got a good. Oh yeah, that's a good reading. Yeah, because I charged this guy up. So you know that, but you haven't run it since you did this. Yeah, oh, no. we just ran a little while. Ago. Yeah, we just we ran, ran it a little yeah. while. Ago. Okay, I mean you haven't taken it for a ride or anything. No, is what no. I'm saying. All right, so you know that the circuitry is good in between the stator and okay. in between the regular direct fire and the battery. And it's a new battery. And it's a, it's a yeah. healthy battery. Yeah. Okay. Right. So um, so those are good. Then you can check. Um, you plug everything back in, and just a basic check, you run it, and you put it across here, and it should be above 12.4, 12.3, all the way up to 14 right. something, and it wasn't. No, it, was, it, was, it, was reading, oh. it was reading 11, okay. 11.8, yeah. and it kept creeping down yeah. as the bike ran. 11.85, yeah. 11.84, 11.8. Yeah. So well, well, let me tell you an even funny thing, my Kawasaki used to kill the battery when it was brand new. Yeah. Guess what it was? The little belt that turns the alternator. <laughs> the alternator now, Luciano spinning. said it may be loose. When I took the alternator off, it, the belt looked like a mouse ate it. <laughs> that, that was an easy one. Luckily, he gave me two belts that fit the bike. He I had two extra he's got ones. A belt that runs it. That's yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and it's easy to replace the belt. It's a, yeah. a half an hour you can do it. And, and the last check you can do is you separate the alternator, the stator from the circuitry. Now these are the three wires coming directly from the stator. Okay. You can run the bike without any circuit running and check from here. You should get 40, 50, 60 volts out of this. Thing. And they should all be charged. And they Not should all be hot. Not two out of three hot, or right? one out of three. If yeah. one's out, it's dead. Okay. Right? Now were no you good. getting anything out of it? Got there? zero out of all three. Oh, okay. So that's why we know the stator is uh, right. the stator shot. So and then, it's going to be off to uh, the internet to buy a new one. Uh, off. Well, uh, if you show me this one, I have a spare one, but it's just for a Suzuki. Right. I don't know that they're that different, you know. 
Well, well, yeah, it's built around the Honda. You know the thing about, I just changed your fuel pump out on the FZR? Yeah. There's one fuel pump for every Japanese bike ever made. Yeah, yeah. And all I change is the wire connector and charge yeah. you another $300. Yeah, it's a yeah. little nip on Denso. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, it's, the fuel yeah. pump, that's it, right there on this bike. Yeah. That's yep. the fuel pump. That's right the same that's one that's on my bike. Yeah. The hose clamps are even the same. <laughs> yeah. No, but they'll list them on the internet for 600 bucks if you want a Yamaha one. Yeah. 400 if you want a, re a used one. Yeah. And then... It's 1995 if you want a brand new one. <laughs> oh, wait. Whoa. Big money there, guys. I had a consult with Pokey about that, you know? <laughs> so there's a way he to. He said, go with the $20 one. There's a way to test the regulator rectifier. And what you do. Am I glad you noticed stuff so if my bike ever dies, <laughs> yeah. you could just you pull it. my trailer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll just have Vince come over my house and have Karen stop making them cookies. <laughs> Again, you're going to be doing ohm readings, set it okay. at 200, and then I marked off the hot lead. Okay. That's this guy, right? So the hot should be open everywhere. You shouldn't get any readings going down the three alternators, and there aren't any. You got right? zero, yeah. But then you got to check the bias. You put the, the negative on, on the positive lead. Okay. And again, you go down the three alternator, but you should get a reading there, and I'm not getting anything. Mm -hmm. Boy, don't you up and die on me here. <laughs> so, In case so, my bike doesn't run this summer. <laughs> so that tells me that this is open. Yeah. There's two diodes okay. here. There's one here, there's one there, and you gotta check the straight, what I just did, now I'm doing the bias, which is checking the right, other diode. Right. And right. they're both open. So Now this, what's this great saw. is if I had an issue like this, your bike would already be painted. <laughs> right. I'll bring mine here and I'll take yours home. This this is in dire need of a paint. Job. Wow, is this it is ever? The, this oh is the one. my god! I pulled the sticker off and look at the paint fade. Uh, this that. Jose's picture is on the bike. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow. So this is. Yeah, I don't know that that's in keeping with the BMW theme of conservative uh, See, but I like politics. I, I like this color. Yeah, you know the, the color that's right. If they made it all the same this, color. This is just like that one we painted yeah. last summer. I still have some of that paint. No, did I give it to you for the Suzuki? Yeah. Oh, you may have it, yeah. sure. So I could probably paint this bike that color again, but no, I want to. But it, what looks like is it, I know what they were thinking. They faded it in and faded it out. But see what the guy did, he used the regular spray gun. He didn't use an airbrush. Yeah. And you see how it, 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 it doesn't spread it real nice. It doesn't do an even color. When you right? do this, you got to do it with an airbrush. And so you got glops in it here and everything. Yeah, yeah. But we could, we, in one day, I can straighten that whole thing out. This is, this is Especially if I need some electrical work. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe rewire my house. It's this? this yeah, is yeah. And the nose. And that's yeah. It. Mine's a little more complicated. Yeah. yeah, see, I know what he was thinking. It, like making it like the old BMWs, the R90s. Exactly. See but, the, the fade there. Yeah. And see, but he didn't do a nice job of getting the silver to lay down mm -hmm. nice. It's, everything is just it's hodgepodge. Yeah, it's like a spray can job. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, I want to paint this. At, there's a, you know, the Infinity. Uh, you ever see the Infinity SUVs? Um, no, I don't remember. I've probably seen it, but I don't remember. Yeah, but they have a, a dark blue metallic one. It's kind of like gunmetal blue. Really? And that's what I want to paint this guy. I want to paint him a dark metallic gunmetal blue. I have a gallon of dark gunmetal blue. That. Look at it before you buy anything. That's what a I'm gallon, not a quart, a nice. gallon. Well, we'll need about this much to paint this. <laughs> no, I know. I'll charge you for the whole. Actually, it looks like this color is the color it looks like, the Beamer. Really? Yeah. It's a little darker. That's what I want. And it's got a lot of metallic in it. Nice. That's exactly what I want, Wendy. Nice. We that, could, that would make this bike a nice Now, all you got to do is wait till I need electrical work on my house or something. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, so I, I've been dressing this guy up. I put on good crash bars. Yeah. I put on uh, exhaust protectors. Um, what are those things on the exhaust bar? What does that do? Just keep bugs from flying into the it? The exhaust or? was so discolored and ugly oh. and everything that oh, I, wanted okay. keep, I wanted to keep it from keeping the stones from like denting And it. beating the hell out of it. Yeah, yeah, because I do go down fire roads with it. So I put on big trial pegs on them. You know, right. these, these things actually have... Yeah, those you can... Them. Yeah. Look they at got them. screws in them to grab onto your boots. Yeah, you're not work. You're not riding any flip flops in that thing. <laughs> no, or <No>, barefoot. <laughs> if you ride barefoot, you get one ride, and that's <laughs> off to the hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're leaving red footprints wow. everywhere. <laughs> so, do we do we want to shoot this video really to show Vince's progress on his shop? No, it's coming. And on. for uh, his future customers, I'll just send them a copy of his video. <laughs> and uh, 
Well, Vince has that Vince has that one low rate that uh, that we all like you. Three hundred dollars an hour. Well, for friends it's free. But oh my God! I still beat the shops by half price. Well, oh, you know really. we'll uh, we'll do an overhaul in here when he's ready and uh, you know yeah paint it out. Now what I did, Bob, I brought up the uh, my buffing all the buffing wheels. If you wanna or you wanna let let your son do a little play, you'll have him have some fun. On what? Uh, whatever you wanna buff. You got anything? You can buff the tank if you want. That could use a little buffing. Yeah, no, I mean, do a little. I'll do a little. Uh, sh look, show and tell. And I, I got the whole bucket of stuff up here. You got well, you got the bike apart like this. Why yeah. not? Yeah. And you look ambitious as heck. I'm just telling you. <laughs> it is me. <laughs> All right, now here's the real thing. If Chuck were up here, Chuck. I would show you how to ride a trials bike. Yeah, Go out there and do a wheelie for me. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that thing up. Wow, come on, get it going, Vince. Wow. But actually, this is this is Vince's new empire that uh, you can get in it from two different ways. And he does work on bikes for make a little side job, I guess would be the right way. Come on, a wheelie, just Show Luciano how these things go. I want to see Luciano ride this. The heck with you, you're young. <laughs> now that's a nice color blue. Isn't it? It's yeah. a beauteous little, and it's like, this is a 2005 one. That's it's almost like brand new. That's almost exactly the color I have a gallon of. I like that. A gallon, can you imagine? We can paint, a, paint my minivan. <laughs> Come on, one wheelie will make Chuck jealous. Oh, I, almost. Chuck, this is for you, baby. You never send us any pictures of your stuff. But we're going to show you some high tech. I wow. the carburetor, so it'll take a couple kicks. Well, as long as you're kicking and not me, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Come on, baby. Get out that can of ether there. Yeah, this doesn't, it usually starts pretty good. I had one of the old Suzuki's. All I remember, it was so much fun. Almost. Wait, it started right up before. Look at the disc brakes on this thing. Oh, the smell of two-stroke oil. Oh, Leo. All right, Chuck, here we go. He's going to drive over that minivan. Over the snow. Look at this muffler on this thing. Wow. Break, Bob. Yeah, that, that's like for a, almost for a bicycle. A little radiator. I didn't even notice the little yeah. radiator. Look at that radiator. The fan that kicks on Whoa. when it gets cold. Oh, look at that little puppy in there. Wow. And that's actually a full floating disc too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Now we should have Chris here. Chris could take a ride on this. I know Chris is big on wheelies. Chris Moranti, look at this, watch this. Smells good. That's a car. It's always good to drive over the cars when they're not moving. Oh, <laughs> we almost had that on video. <laughs> Poor Vince, never show off when Wendy's got the camera running. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Stoppies, wheelies! Oh, Luciano's gonna be so jealous. Luciano, if you could do the same thing with your H1, I'll be impressed. Woo! Whoa! They actually drive over cars at the competition. They they park a car, go up the hood, and whatever the hell they do. It's for those with younger bones. Yes. We don't My bones are too old. Vince, is, Vince could still heal. If I do that, I won't heal. <laughs> yeah. Nothing is more fun than watching the guys on YouTube that do stoppies on Route 80 and they go off the bike. <laughs> <laughs> at like 90 miles an hour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, a little rusty. 
Wow. Well, you know, it's the middle of the day. I'm impressed. Now do it with the BMW. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you already saw me do that. I don't know why guys with stunt bikes even make a stunt bike. You could buy one all set to go. I got this for 2000 Wow. You know, you take a perfectly good R6 and turn it into a stunt bike. Oh, and this yeah. thing you could buy in a store. It'll do... It'll